Hi, I'm Jalen Ford. I'm from Hot Springs, Virginia, and I'm majoring in Sport and Recreation Management with a minor in Business. Heading into your senior year at JMU, talk about your experience thus far as a student athlete. Uh, being a student athlete here at JMU has, uh, you know, meant a lot to me. Uh, you're not only just a student, you're not only just an athlete, but you're working on becoming a better person. Um, we focus a lot on community service and uh, outreach programs so that we're not building just on that student athlete experience, but also trying to become a better member of society. What's been the most rewarding part about being a JMU student athlete? Um, I, I think the most rewarding part would be, you know, being able to get uh, a college education while also uh, chasing, you know, that dream of playing in college and uh, playing a sport you love. What is your favorite part about J uh, being at JMU and in Harrisonburg? Um, well, besides the food on campus, um, I really enjoy, um, you know, the friendly nature of the JMU community community and how like everybody pulls together um, not only around athletics but just around um, uh, the community and the and the campus as well. This softball team has risen to new heights and it began the year you stepped on campus. How neat has it been to see JMU now in the national spotlight in the sport of softball? Well I mean you know, over the past four years you, you can see a huge improvement just through our softball program um, and it's amazing to think of, you know, every every year we seem to get a little bit further, um, and this year we hope to take it a huge step further and just go to that World Series. Um, I mean, that's been our goal for the past couple of years, but, I mean, this year is the time to make it happen. Talk about playing for a coach like Mickey Dean and what he's meant to you during your career. Uh, coach Dean's one of a kind coach. Um, ever since I met him at Radford, um, I liked him. He gets the most out of his players, and I don't even think it's just him. I think it's his coaching staff as well, you know, Coach Herzig, Coach Messick, or Coach Laporte, uh, as well as, you know, our managers and everybody who helps us succeed along the way. Um, they're just trying to get the most out of their players and uh, get us to work hard uh, to, to achieve our goals, so it's amazing. Entering your final season this spring, what individual goals have you put together for yourself? Um, just trying to be better than I was last year. Uh, right now I don't have any individual goals set other than just trying to be better than I was yesterday or better than the year before. Last year, Jamie, you hosted its first ever NCAA regional in the tournament. What would winning that regional and potentially having a chance to go to Oklahoma City for the Women's College World Series mean to you? Um, it, it would mean a lot. You know, the, the past four years we put in a uh, Erica, Hannah, I, myself, um, as well as the coaching staff has put in so much hard work just to try to get to that next level. And um, I mean, last year we fell a little bit short, so I think this year we're coming back with a little bit of a bitter taste in our mouth. And I think, you know, winning that regional and moving on to the next uh, super regional uh, is just going to get us closer to our goal of winning a World Series or at least going to a World Series. Finally, looking back at your career, both as a student and as an athlete at JMU, what advice would you give to your current teammates and the future JMU Dukes down the road? Um, I would just say to enjoy your best your four years here. You know they're the best times of your life, but um, you know focusing on the the athletic part of it is just to be the best you can be. You know, outwork everybody as much as possible and just put in as much hard work because before you know it, those four years are up, and you know you have to go out into the working world. So enjoy it while it lasts.